Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit two, lesson eight. Divide multiples, divide to multiply non-unit fractions. Our goal today is to solve problems about multiplying whole numbers by fractions. So today we're going to start up with a warm-up, deciding if each statement is true or false, and we have to explain our reasoning. Here's our first question. True or false, two times one-third times six is the same as two-thirds times six. Well, what do I notice that is different about these two uh, expressions? This has parentheses, so that's different. This has a whole number, a fraction, and a whole number, and then this just has a fraction and a whole number. So I'm thinking that if I combined these two, this whole number and this fraction, then it would look exactly like this. So how do I do that? How do I combine two and one third? Well, I think that we remember in the last lesson, we put it over one. So every whole number can be a fraction over one. And then we can just multiply across. Two times one is two. And one times three is three times six. And that is the same as two thirds times six. So these two combined is the same as two-thirds, so we can mark that one true. Okay, here's our next one. This time we have a whole number, a fraction, and a whole number. And then on the other side, we have a whole number times and then a division problem. So remember, a division problem can also be written like a fraction. So this side could be written, rewritten as 2 times 6 divided by 3. And we remember that from one of the first lessons. So is that the same as this? Well, if I put this number over 1, I can rewrite the expression as, remember I can multiply that, 6 times 1 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. So I'm going to say that this one is also true true and true. I wonder if the next one's going to be true. Oh, I'm going to have to erase some of my work here. There we go. So we can see it. There we go. So now we have two thirds times six equals two times one fourth times six. So again, like the first one, I'm going to go ahead and combine these two to see if I get two thirds. So I'm going to put this over one. Two times one is two over one times four is four times six. That is not equal to two thirds times six. That is not equal. So I'm going to say that this one is false. False. All right. Great warm up, guys. Let's move on to our next part of the lesson. Multiply a whole number by a fraction. We've been working with this for some time. There, We can either draw a diagram or we can just work it out. So let's do both. So for number one, uh, remember I can put this over one. Get my pencil. There we go. Go back. Sorry about that, guys. Now, there we go. All right. Find the value of each expression. Explain or show how you know. So remember I can write this over one. 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 1 is 5. I could also draw a picture of that, right? I could draw three objects. That's my whole number, 1, 2, and 3. And I'm multiplying it by fifths, so I'm going to split it into fifths. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And I need one fifth three times. One fifth three times. So I could either put it in just one or I can put it in here, right? That represents one fifth three times. So how many fifths do I have now? One fifth, one fifth, and one fifth. There's my three fifths. One plus one, one, plus one is three. Okay. In the second one, 
I can do again the same thing. 2 times 3 is 6, and we're going to put that over 1. 5 times 1 is 5. And in this one, I can represent that by doing the same thing, drawing three whole diagrams. But this time, I'm going to shade in two fifths, two fifths three times. So that's two fifths plus two fifths plus two fifths. So what does that equal? Six fifths. I also notice that two fifths is double one fifth. So I just doubled the numerator, right? Three doubled is six. Could I do that this, the same thing for number three? Am I tripling three fifths? Three times three is nine fifths. Yeah, this is triple one fifth. Awesome. Great job, guys. So let's see what is next on the agenda. All right, let's delete that. One fifth times three, two fifths times three, and three fifths times three. How are they the same? Well, I see the some same digits, right? We both have denominators, or all three have denominators of five, and digits times three. They're different because the part of five, one fifth, two fifths, and three parts of five are different, different. So how can we use the value of one fifth times three to help us find the value of th two fifths times three? Well, we did discuss that in the first one, right? The answer to this one, three fifths, this is gonna be double that because it is double, two fifths is double one fifth. So it's going to be double. What about three fifths? Again, that's triple, triple. All right, here we have a diagram just like I drew. How does the diagram show one fifth times three? Well, I have three holes, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and I have shaded in one fifth of each hole. And that means I have three one fifths, three one fifths. So we could adapt that diagram just like I drew in the first part by doing two fifths. So that's two fifths now that are shaded, two fifths and two fifths. And so we know that two plus two plus two is six. All right, I think we understand that. Now we have explained how each expression represents the shaded regions. Shaded regions, okay. So this one says two times three divided by five. Well, I see that I have three whole things here. One, two, three. And each one of those is divided into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And I've shaded in two of every one of those. So that's how that one works, All right? That's how that one is demonstrated. So for number two, how would I demonstrate that? I can see two-fifths plus two-fifths plus two-fifths. How much does that equal? Well, two, four, six, six-fifths. So that's how I see that. I also see three times two-fifths because I have two-fifths three times. The last one... It says three times two times one fifth. So I see the three, one, two, three, and two pieces of one fifth. Two pieces of one fifth. So I see that one as well. All right, moving right along in this lesson. So how does the diagram represent this expression? Two, three times two-fifths. So this is two-fifths. And how many times am I, do I have that drawn here? I have it three times. How does the diagram represent this one? Again, I can write this as a fraction, can't I? I can say two times, remember how to write that? Three over five. So how does that work? 
2 times 3 over 5. Well, we can think of the whole number 3. 1, 2, 3. Again, it's divided into 5 pieces. And I have shaded in 2 of each one of those. 2 of each one of those. Okay. All right. 2 times 3 divided by 5 equals 6 fifths. How do we know this is true? Well, we remember that we can write this equation, just like I did above, as 3 fifths. And then multiply that by 2 over 1, and you would get 6 fifths. Okay. Are there any other words or phrases or diagrams that are important to include on our display. So we would have our anchor chart up on the board and we can add all kinds of things to help us remember how to do this. All right, now we're going to go on to the cool down. Find the value of each expression, explain or show your reasoning. So I know that I could put any whole number over one and multiply across and I would get four over three. But I could also draw four objects, one, two, three, four, and divide them into thirds and shade in one part of each one. And how many one-thirds would I have? I would have four of them. Okay? Then I notice for number two that this is double one, right? So I'm going to double my answer. So again, I'll choose a different color. I could put it over one and just multiply across, but I could also shade in two thirds of each one of these, two thirds. And then it would be two thirds plus two thirds to four six, eight thirds, right? If I added all those together, I would get my eight thirds. All right. Okay, I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe to see more of these videos.